Welcome to the Louisville Urban League's Workforce Wednesday, a 60-minute virtual series led by the region's top corporate recruiters, offering leadership development and professional trainings. Tune in monthly for our live hiring events from many of the best corporations in Louisville, Kentucky. This Wednesday, our special guest presenter is Donald Woolrich. He is the Talent Acquisition and Training and Development Manager at Kentucky Trailer. Workforce Wednesday. My name is Tiana Barnes. I am the Workforce Project Administrator, and I just want to thank you all for joining us um, via Zoom today. And we have a great Workforce Wednesday hiring event planned for you. Don Woolridge, he serves as the Director for Talent Acquisition and Training and Development at Kentucky Trailer. Don brings with him today over 25 years of experience in human resource management. He, he is going to share with us the many opportunities currently available at Kentucky Trailer and explain precisely what you'll need to do to join their awesome company. So before we get started, we have a few housekeeping notes. Um, make sure you keep your microphones muted and at any time during the presentation, if you have questions, please, please feel free to place them in the chat and um, myself and Patrice will um, answer and respond to those. And we'll also have time at the end for question and answers. And um, this session is recorded and there'll be a short survey at the end. Without further ado, Mr. Donald Willich. Thank you so much for that introduction. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, again, it is a pleasure uh, to be here with you. Um, uh, I hope that uh, everybody can hear me uh, well uh, right now. Uh, I will have to speak at this tone. I have to stay uh, right in my work area and there are other people around me. And so I have my, my headphones on, so I can't you know, really be as uh, demonstrative as I usually am. Um, we're having some Wi-Fi connectivity issues, so I have to stay at my desk and be hardwired in uh, so that I can join you today. But uh, having said that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, share this screen. So this, everyone's uh, the PowerPoint that's on the screen right now. It says, we are Kentucky Trail. All right. All right, very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, folks. Now, some, if you've been uh, a member of uh, the Urban League and or have participated in previous uh, Workforce Wednesdays, um, you, you're very familiar with uh, Kentucky Trailer because I have uh, spoken about my company on several Wednesdays. <clears throat> this uh, presentation, if it, if it seems familiar with you, please uh, just bear with me and uh, feel free to ask uh, any questions at the end. I may cover something that maybe you didn't uh, catch the first time. So it's always good uh, to review uh, familiar uh, material. Okay, so we are Kentucky Trailer. And I want to talk to you a little bit about why would you want to even work uh, for a company like this? First of all, safety is our top priority. We are a manufacturing uh, facility. We specialize in <laughs> uh, truck bodies and trailers. Okay, uh, when you think of semi trailers, when you're out on the road, okay, and you see uh, the big trucks moving up and down the highways of uh, of uh, our country. We make uh, those trailers, the box unit that hitches to the tractor. Uh, we actually make those. So a uh, 53 foot uh, long, 13 and a half feet high trailers. Um, that's what we specialize in. And then um, over the course of this presentation, uh, I'm going to explain to you exactly uh, what makes us so unique amongst other trailer manufacturers. Now, safety first and always without a close second priority, this is paramount in a manufacturing facility. Um, what we have here are assemblers, welders, fabricators, um, decalers, material handlers, uh, you name it, every type of position you would imagine in a manufacturing plant, uh, we have those positions here. And with that being said, safety first and always without a close second priority, that is our motto um, our safety model and our safety focus for our company. If, if, if you have been paying close attention to what's been going on in the news, uh, unfortunately yesterday at another company right outside of Elizabethtown called Matesla, um, they had a fatality in their plant. Um, um, a young man was ran over by a Ford truck. 
And the reason why I bring that up, particularly on this slide, is to talk about the seriousness and our safety is in manufacturing facilities. Here at Kentucky Trail, we take a great deal of pride in our incident rate and the amount of days we have gone without an incident. Um, uh, we are moving close to about a year uh, uh, with regards to incidents and safety uh, issues and things like that on the shop floor. So we take a great deal of pride in that, and we have a great and a very high expectation of all of our employees as it pertains to safety. All right. Also, what we take pride in is our values, what we refer to as the KT way. First, being patient, kindness, humility, respectful, selfless, forgiving, honest, and committed. Now, folks, if you take a, a, a good look at these eight underlying principles of what we refer to as the KT way, then they should be familiar with those uh, who uh, frequent uh, Sunday schools. Uh, these these uh, eight principles comes directly from uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 13, chapter, uh, verses 4 through 8. We pride ourselves on our company values. This is the expectation of everybody in the organization from a newly hired employee all the way up to the president and CEO. In fact, during our new hire orientation classes, our president and CEO actually teaches the core values. He takes part in one of the training sessions and he comes to and meets with all new hires and teaches them the KT way. In terms of our recruiting efforts, this is what we are paying right now for manufacturing assemblers. The pay ranges between $18 and $24.83 an hour. For welders, $21.95, $35.70 an hour. Those are the two key positions we are heavily recruiting for. We are also hiring decalers, fabricators, <coughs> excuse me, electricians, and other hourly positions as well. Anybody interested in those, as well as salary positions. Anybody interested in those positions, at the end of the presentation, I'm going to give you my contact information. You can reach out to me, and I can talk to you in more detail about that. Also, when you see these starting wages, they are determined by your work experience and your shift assignment. If you move to second shift, you need to add $2 on top of the wages that you see here. And if you move to our select our weekend crew and you're hired for that, you can add four additional dollars on top of the wages you see here. So our different shifts, our second and weekend crew shifts, they are very, uh, 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 from a monetary standpoint, they're very, very huge. All right, some quick statistics on wages, folks. So just for our welders in particular, the average base wage in the state of Kentucky, you're looking at about $19.21 an hour. And that's what that spans out to over the course of a year without overtime. Salaries by years of experience in the state of Kentucky, less than two years, 20.43, more than 10 years, 22. The range at Kentucky Trade. Coming in, we already exceed the uh, statewide average and uh, the average uh, in the city of Louisville. Our wages are highly competitive, okay? Um, we put our wages, whether it's manufacturing um, assemblers, welders, electricians, you name it, we'll put it against any other company in the city of Louisville. And if we are not right in line with what they are, we exceed what they're paying at other companies. All right, and this data is pulled from indeed.com and salary.com. So if anybody wants to go and see for themselves, those are the uh, sources where this information came from. When you look at the United States in general, okay, and look at um, our wage here in the state of Kentucky and what we're paying, and then look at those states around us, okay? Uh, Kentucky trailer, we pay more uh, than the other states uh, immediately connected to us, okay? just to give you an, an inkling in terms of uh, just right across the bridge, you can't get more uh, than what we're doing. Um, actually, it dips significantly, drops to about 24%. Now, what's required of you? This is what we ask of every employee at Kentucky Trade. We ask you to be dependable, flexible, increase in skills, show pride in your work, and have a proper attitude. With regards to dependability, folks, we're talking about showing up for work, being there on time, completing the tasks that you were assigned to do. 
We treat every individual here as a professional in the workplace. And the expectation is of professionals that you actually show up for your assigned work. With regards to flexibility, for growth here at Kentucky Trader, the more you know, the more you can be paid. So we ask that all employees take advantage of all the many opportunities we have. Don't just be stuck in one particular area, but try and learn as many areas as possible. This is also uh, beneficial to you with regards to your pay increases. Skills, same with flexibility, increase in skill. With regards to pride, we're talking about the type of quality that you build uh, on the product that you build. And then recognize that you also work in teams. So we want to instill quality in our processes and then pass that quality on to the next person so that they can instill quality in their process. Lastly is a proper attitude. One of the things I say to everybody, anybody I talk to about this, there are only two careers I know where people actually get paid to deal with an attitude. One is a school counselor and the second one is a psychiatrist. So when you go into work, everybody should always report to work with a proper attitude, an attitude of winning, an attitude of being successful, because nobody gets paid to deal with a bad attitude. Likewise, here at Kentucky Trader, we ask that every employee from top to bottom come to work every day with a winning mindset. All right. When we look at the job descriptions for an assembler, perform a process, complete sub-assemblies, you're gonna use hand tools and pneumatic toolings. Pneumatic tools is just a fancy way of saying high power air guns. That's what we use here to install and shoot um, the rivets and install the bolts as we build the trailers and truck bodies. Maintain your work area and follow all safety regulations. Complete tasks as directed with minimum supervision. You will be required to stand Frequently use hands, fingers, handle or feel tools, climb and balance. And then regularly lift and or move 10 to 25 pounds, occasionally lift and or move 50 pounds. This is for a manufacturing assembly. For a welder, you need to be proficient in MIG, TIG, and stick welding is an added plus. Our welders are also fabricators and craftsmen and women. You will not weld continuously without helping to produce the final product. So it's about an 80 to 15 ratio weld versus production. So 85% of the time you will be welding, but 15% of the time you will be asked to help with, with uh, pr uh, producing the final product. You also have to be able to weld with aluminum and galvanized steel. If you don't have experience with that, we will uh, give you that, that training necessary uh, to become familiar with that and be successful here. Right. Lastly, our welding areas are properly ventilated to ensure safety risks are removed when dealing with zinc fumes caused by welding galvanized metal. Our locations, our main location is 7201 Logistics Drive. That is right off the Greenbelt Highway on the tail end of Cane Runner Road. You get into the PRP area. <clears throat> We're right off uh, Greenbelt Highway. We also have a plant at 77 International Drive that's literally right across uh, the street from uh, the KTM plant that I just showed you. Our corporate headquarters and our service facility is located at 3400 Robarts Court. That's right off Popper Level Road. And we also have plants in Michigan, Illinois, our Europe facility, and then lastly, Iowa and Alabama formerly uh, called CEI Equipment. We purchased uh, this company and they are now Kentucky Trailer as well. Quickly our product and then um, I'm about to wrap up here uh, shortly. Now the types of trailers that we, that we make. Kentucky Trailer, we specialize in these type of following types of trailers, beverage, commercial, enclosed auto vehicle, dry freight, sheet and post, dry freight composite, Military government, mobile medical, moving and storage, motorsports, mobile marketing, oil and gas, product and package delivery, snack foods, as well as customized trades. What you see on the screen right now, these are the type of trailers that only Kentucky Trailer makes. Any trailer that you see on the road that has a decal uh, paint job from top to, top to bottom, 
covering every single side. It was made by Kentucky Trailer. We are the only trailer manufacturing company that does that. Okay, so one of, the, one of the products that we're most proud of, if you ever have an opportunity to see uh, the Cheetos Tiger uh, um, and, you know, Cheetos uh, 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 potato chips and whatnot, we make that trailer. So the whole entire trailer is covered with Cheetos Tiger. We make that trailer. When you see the military government and mobile markets and closed vehicles, I'm going to touch on that here in just a second. That has to deal with our brand. What we make matters. And when we say what we make matters, um, it's very important because the products that we produce has an impact on our society. Yeah, you something in a minute, Eddie. Okay, now, the vehicles that we manufacture and service to our communities and to the entire world have a great deal of importance. We keep our worldwide communities living with our mobile healthcare vehicles. This is one of the trailers that we manufacture here. As you see inside, it has testing units and bank inside of the trailer to help identify cancer in its early stages. We make these trailers and sell them to hospitals so that they can take them into rural communities and do um, all different types of CAT scans, <clears throat> things of that nature to help identify um, sicknesses and illnesses at the onset, at the early stages, so they can get the preventive medicine that they need. We keep uh, America and our servicemen and women safe with our military and government vehicles. So here you see the United States Army in a training session in one of the uh, trailers that we actually make. When you look to the right, that trailer, and you'll see this uh, part of it has come out to the side. We actually uh, in, uh, install the hydraulics and the electrical system that makes the trailer literally unfold like um, a transformer, if you will, if you're familiar with that uh, old school cartoon. So uh, uh, the trailers literally unfold and turn into a house and a full living unit. Um, we build a uh, customized trailers that do that as well. We protect high value vehicles as they move uh, to their destinations with our vehicle transporters. So what you see here, the, these are the type of trailers we make that actually transport high-end vehicles. Uh, if you drive up and down the highways, you'll see Camrys and Ford Focuses and cars like that stacked up, you know, about 10 deep on a trailer uh, being carried from a dealership uh, to a manufacturing plant and vice versa. What you won't see is a Maybach or a Lamborghini or any type of car like that because they're driving around in a in a, in a trailer like this, which uh, uh, the interiors are, some of them are, are nicer than, uh, than our homes. I mean, <laughs> some of these cars actually uh, travel better uh, than I do. So uh, high-end luxury vehicles, they travel around in trailers like this. We demonstrate the impact superior mobile design can have on business as well. Here you see a trailer and then you see the interior shot of the trailer uh, down at the bottom. Um, this is a gaming trailer. So actually inside this trailer, there's uh, mobile units uh, for uh, people who like to play Xbox and PlayStation and things like that. And you'll see there's actually a pool table right in the middle of that trailer. And then um, we usually sell these, you see these in the parking lots at conventions um, and things of that nature. Um, again, these are the type of specialty trailers that we make as well. Other areas we impact, animal feed, package delivery, and moving. Okay, and these are what those type of trailers look like. We are the exclusive provider for package delivery for FedEx, um, as well as UPS. Um, also with regards to animal feed. Um, this is very important, especially in light of what we've just um, experienced with regards to COVID. I'm sure everybody remembers um, having to go to the grocery stores and a lot of goods and things like that were uh, completely out. Well, we make the trailers that actually service Kroger's, okay, um, brings it from the food markets, from the farms and things like that across the highways into our grocery stores. We make those trailers as well. And then lastly, moving trailers. If you're uh, moving, <clears throat> we don't uh, specialize in U-Hauls, but large items, you're moving from one part of the country to the next. Um, we are an exclusive provider to North America, so we help with those moving needs. Again, uh, we are invested in the products and the people who build and service them. 
Okay, everybody here is considered part of the KT team and part of the KT family. Lastly, with regards to our advertising, we have had commercials that we have been running recently. Um, I'm unable to play it for you, unfortunately, uh, because you wouldn't be able to hear the sound. But uh, we do have a 30 second commercial and a 15 second commercial that has been running on WDRB and WLKY. You can see our commercials anytime during the news broadcast and any of the sporting events that they have. Also, uh, uh, we're on billboards throughout the city. This particular billboard in particular is the one leading into downtown uh, when you're coming down I-71. All right. That is my presentation, folks. As you see, are you ready to get on board with Kentucky Trailer? Any of these positions, you can apply online at www.kentuckytrailer.com. And when you go to our website, it'll have a full list of all the different positions we have. Also, I'm going to provide you with my contact information um, so that you can reach out to me at a later date. Are, are there any questions? Okay, folks, if there are no questions, that is my presentation. So, All right, last call. Does anyone have any questions? This is your time to ask. Uh, I asked a question, uh, Mr. Don, what would you say would be the time frame between uh, the time that they apply to the time that they're interviewed and or um, the time that they can be in employment? Yeah, excellent question. Right now, we're receiving a lot of applications of the team that is staffed. It is a two person team. So we ask that everybody, um, you know, um, show uh, some patience. We are trying to get to you within a 24 hour time period from the time that you apply that you hear a contact, a voice from somebody on the recruiting team. Then from the time you get that phone screen to the interview could be an additional two days. So it's a 24 <clears throat> to 36 hour period from application to an interview. Okay, now in that phone screen, when they do call you, they are gonna ask you, uh, you know, some particulars. So you do have to meet, you know, certain criteria in order to move forward with an interview. We are looking for people who do have some manufacturing experience. However, if you do not have manufacturing experience, I strongly encourage everybody display a winning attitude when you're having your phone screen. Trust me, folks, it does help. It makes all the difference in the world, and it will determine whether or not we'll move forward with a candidate. We have had candidates during the phone screen. <clears throat> while we looked at the resume online, we thought they would be perfect. And then as soon as we're doing the phone screen, we catch one little whiff of attitude, we're going to do a hard pass. <laughs> we just will not hire that or bring that into the workforce. So please, you know, keep those things in mind and uh, keep that time frame in mind. You're talking about 36 hours, uh, one to two days. You should hear from somebody and have your interview, have your interview, at least have it scheduled. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a question, Don. Yes. What are the biggest challenges someone um, working at K Kentucky Trailers would face? Okay, great question. Now, you know, um, again, it is manufacturing. I think work-life balance. Um, if you have an expectation of doing, uh, you know, eight hours in a typical 40-hour week, excuse me, eight hours a day in a typical 40-hour week, um, that's not what you're going to find here. Now, we do have various shifts that, that, um, our employees have told us are, are very appealing uh, to them, but a minimum workday here is 10 hours. Okay, so you can expect 10 hours. Um, at one of our plants, uh, we only work Monday through Friday, and we have two shifts, okay, and um, we work, you know, 10 hours. That eight hours is a base, but then, you know, those additional two hours, that is overtime on top of the eight. <clears throat> we do have a weekend crew that works Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, 36 hours, but you're paid for 40 hours. 
And then we do have two crews um, at one of our sites, <clears throat> excuse me, where they work Monday through Monday through Thursday. Okay. Um, uh, and then, uh, but with those uh, 10 extra uh, hours that they work, they still get their 40 hours, but then they're all Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we do have some appealing options for everybody, but I think the biggest struggle that people find um, is that with regards to work life and understanding it is manufacturing. And that's pretty much part of the course for manufacturing jobs. The second thing, and then I only have two, the second thing I would say is, you know, being adapt to, if you approach this as though it's assembly line work, like a Ford or a GE or a Toyota plant, um, you, you'll be in for a surprise. Now, this is, we work in small teams, okay? And that's why leadership and character is so important here. Uh, minimal supervision, and you're held accountable by your teammates, okay? So a lot of the work um, is not, you know, just sitting there doing the same thing all day long, shooting the same number of volts, bolts on a different vehicle that's moving in front of you. A lot of it is craftsmanship. And um, I, I see that some people have a hard time kind of adapting to that and adapting to that, I guess, you could, for lack of a better term, kind of freedom, you know, at work, right? You know, somebody's not standing over top of you, you know, making sure you get it done. Plus your work isn't regimented, you know, like you're just standing there shooting the same boats all day long. Um, a lot of it's just required, it's called upon you to be a professional in the workplace, establish your pace, and support your teammates. Awesome. Um, does Kentucky Trailer offer continuing education or education reimbursement? Yes, we do. We have a tuition reimbursement. We will pay up to $2,000 of your tuition, and that's on a yearly basis. So um, again, that is reimbursement. So you do have to, you know, uh, some kind of way finance your education. But um, you bring us uh, those receipts, and then we will pay for uh, two thousand. Now we do ask that uh, um, it has to be in line with manufacturing of some kind or something that we do here. You know, for example, when you know, I'm not I'm not making light of anybody that's an artist. I'm actually an artist myself, but we're not going to pay for anybody to go to art school. We we have no you know use for, for that here. But if you're doing something in lines with manufacturing or, or anything that we do here. Yes, we will pay. We will pay up to two thousand dollars a year for that, Mr. Woolrich. Yes, sir. Once the trailers are completed, do you have CDL drivers to deliver them to mm. the point of destination? Great question, Mr. Jones. Uh, yes, sir, we do. Um, uh, that is also one of the jobs that we recruit for. Uh, so, if you go to our website. Uh, if that job, if we are actually, uh, I think we have all of our drivers. I, 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 right now, I'm fairly certain um, that we have all the drivers we need. But um, if we don't, that will be one of the jobs that's posted on our website. Again, that's www.kytrailer.com. And yes, uh, we are a hiring driver CDLs. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Does anyone else have any more questions? Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Woolridge, for right. us today. Thank you. You guys have some great opportunities there at Kentucky Trailer. Um, hopefully, someone will uh, apply and join our team we close i want to just share a few upcoming events that we have here um this friday june the 10th um at from 11 to 12 30 p.m is the kentuckiana builds graduation it's going to be at the sports and learning center um this court we have 16 graduates um, majority of um, whom have received um, employment offers already. So if you are available, come and celebrate the graduates' accomplishments. Um, also, the next Workforce Wednesday will be held June the 15th. It's going to be with Chase Bank. Um, we're going to be talking about credit. So I want to invite you. And um, if you know someone who would benefit from joining that Workforce Wednesday, please have them join as well. 
<clears throat> there are so many great things happening at the league and in our community. And we need your help to spread the word to someone who is in search for a job or a career change. So um, to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and visit our website at LUL.org um, to keep up to date with um, all of our current programs and opportunities. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Bye. Hope so. Have a blessed day. Be safe. You too. Take care, everyone. Thanks, Don, again. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye. You're welcome.